Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Sandbox Wednesday stream. I am Alex Flores, a.k.a. Kamisazi, joined here in voice, mind, body, and soul by Lucas is right. How you doing, Lucas? I'm amazing. How are you? I'm sleepy. I want to take a nap. But nice. before I can take a nap, I want to play some games. We have and before to I play before some games, lay down. Yeah. <laughs> before I play some games, I want to talk about some news. Mm. There's a land sale coming up. Starting, uh, well, the process starts tomorrow. The process starts tomorrow. Correct. The process starts tomorrow. The first, the first sale is not tomorrow. Mm -mm. Um, the first sale. Wave one. Uh, wait. Hmm. Is it tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? I, I thought it was happening Black Friday. I like, thought. Like, that tomorrow is the opening of the the raffle. It does say land sale launching. I thought it, I thought the raffle was starting tomorrow. So in this announcement, I've just totally confused myself as to what's <laughs> what's actually happening. Uh, I'm looking up looking for more details. Um. <laughs> Here we go. For more details about the land sale raffle process, please refer to the video below and consult our FAQ. Let's just watch the video. Let's, Let's do, that. do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with this. Why can't uh -huh. I full screen this? But why can't I full screen it? Because <laughs> you're a bad person. I, there we go. Got it. I got it. Good, because I didn't really believe that. <laughs> Uh, so they're just showing the MetaMask raffle process. All right, I'm going to share the link to the Medium article here in the chat. Okay, so yeah, regular and premium land raffles are something that can be separate. So if you're not, if, if premium land's not in your budget, you don't even have to sign up for the raffle for it, which I think would increase your chances of being in the, the regular land raffle. It's a very, very fancy video. A lot going on here. I like it. I really like the, there we go, the representations of the land, like the little square oh, yeah, the, the, imagery. The, yeah. yeah, it's cute. There's, there's a bunch of different ones that I've seen floating around. I think it's all, especially at the opening of that video, where mm -hmm. it's just like nine or 12 different like views, for like, like that one right there. And it's, it's just really cool. I like it. Uh, there is a question from the Bitfox. What are the premium land NFTs? And I think if I rewind here a second, it actually... It shows two it, of them. Yeah. If I can catch it. So FaZe Clan, it looks like uh, it's got a golden statue and possibly like a vest. I was going to say, that looks like a police vest or something. Or like a bulletproof vest or something. Let's see if any of the other. I don't think any of the other lands popped up with their premium stuff. Yeah, I don't think so either. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so it says join the raffle on November twenty fourth. Um. That was my impression as well. Let's see what it says. Well, this is just general land sale FAQ. This isn't specific to this sale. Um, I mean, there's going to be a countdown timer on the website. So, uh, like, you'll be able to see all that stuff going on. Yeah, I'm... 
I think this means the raffle starts then. But go, you can uh, join the raffle system now, I believe. I tried uh, to earlier. Uh, was Actually, no, that was yesterday. I tried to yesterday, and I couldn't join it. The button was grayed out for me. But oh, 16 hours. So, yeah, it is the raffle start. Uh, joining the raffle starts tomorrow, which is the 24th. Mm-hmm. Um, Ah, here we go. How does it work? <laughs> they had to had to scroll down. Um, registration is an, until November 28th at 3 a.m. UTC. The raffle is until November 28th, and the sale is November 29th. It's like I there thought. I thought that I thought that sense. having the raffle and the sale and everything all being tomorrow was a little too intense. Um, I just had to to get to this part. Um, so. Uh yeah. So raffle starts the registration starts tomorrow. Um you do need to be KYC. There's gonna be an identity verification, uh a liveness check. Um and it's the same if you did the KYC for, for the season, it's gonna be basically the same process. Um there will be different ways to collect additional raffle tickets. So Rabbitars will get an additional five tickets. Uh, Playboy Rabbitars ticket bonus is capped to five per wallet. Owning multiple Playboy Rabbitar NFTs won't give you more than five raffle tickets. Um, and I think go kind of goes without saying, but should probably be said anyway, that the same would be true for... Uh, oh, these aren't even for alpha passes. This is just level five completion. So this They're is memorabilia, this, yeah. This is based on this is utility for memorabilia. This is utility for memorabilia. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, people are like, um what like what is it? What does it now? do? It's like, well, in this case, it gives you 20 tickets for the raffle for the land sale. That's what it does. Um <laughs> each. Can each you drop season. the link for that page? For this page, in just that, is sandbox.game yeah. slash land sale. Uh, so this link will bring you to the English page, but you, know, you could do it without the language code and it would just be slash land sale. Um, so that's cool. And that this means that people who have been here for a while and have been been um, participating in the seasons, uh, you know, get more chances on being in the land sale, which is something people have been talking about wanting for a long time that that uh, land sales should um uh, way more heavily towards people who are active in, in the community. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a ton of FAQ on here. Like, there's so much FAQ going on here. Um, let's see, is there any more info about the NFTs? I don't see it on here. Um, if we go to the map, I don't think it'll show it yet. Um, I don't think it even has the new map has fewer filters than the than the old one, so I don't have like a an exact spot for the land sale. Oh, maybe this will take me there. Ah, ooh, look at that right there. There's a button takes you right to the land sale. California Dreaming. Wait. Oh wow! Is it's it's this section right here? All this blue. Hmm. Uh, so if I click on one, ah, yeah, it does have it. So if you click on the premium lands, it shows you what possible assets could be included. Except they're really teeny tiny. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> some sort of Phase Clan shirt, a number fifty three. Uh, some sort of statue and a giant half pipe. Um. doesn't it doesn't go into more detail than that but you find out the the way it's always worked with premium land sales before is that it was like randomized so you would see the potential things that you could get but you didn't know which specific ones you'd get until you got it until there would be like the land hmm until you purchased the land 
un- the, yeah, the un- until you've actually bought the the plot. Well, I remember when uh, it was the uh, the Walking Dead land sale. Like mm-hmm. I knew exactly which plot to pick to to get Lucille. Oh, okay. I think with the Care Bears and the Smurfs, it it was was it randomized with those? That was so long ago now. I don't remember. <laughs> um, um, I think in the lead up. You know, I, I think in the lead up to the land sale, you didn't know which plots had what, but when you actually clicked on it to buy it, it did show it. But yes. the amount of time that you had before the sale was sold out to find a specific plot with something you wanted was seconds. So once you clicked on a plot, you may as well just like commit to buy. Yep. Um, You're in. Hey, Panda Pops, it's late for you. Well, not really late for you, but it it is. It is late. Um, so this one has Tony Hawk, Phase Clan, Playboy, and Open Sea. No, never mind. Those are those not are open sea. those wow. are auctions. Yeah, for... those are auctions. Don't listen yeah. to a word I'm saying. Clearly, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> um, and I thought there was another. I thought there was another partner for this section, but maybe I'm Playboy, Snoop Dogg. Oh, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Oh, because Snoop Snoop Dogg's down over here, but it, Snoop Dogg's next to it. Um, so probably some of the premium assets will have Snoop Dogg stuff. Oh, and TMC. What is uh, the Marathon City? And Nipsey Hustle. I'm not I'm not that hip. Nipsey Hustle was an American rapper who recently passed away. Oh, okay. Kind of like a a legacy type individual. Sure. All right. Uh, so that's what's going on with the land sale. <laughs> I say recently, it was it was March thirty first of twenty nineteen. That is pretty recently in the grand yeah. screen. Grand scream. Grand, grand scream of things. <laughs> grand scream <laughs> of things. Uh, 2019 feels like a blink away. It really does. Um. All right. So that's it for that. I don't think. Uh, I don't think we need to say much more about that. There was. There was some confusion people noticed uh, with the premium uh, stuff. They saw that there's going to be an airdrop of gems and catalysts for premium landowners. Mm -hmm. And they thought that that meant that there would not be gems and catalysts for other landowners. Which is not the case. Which is not not the case. It wasn't, it was, it was an announcement of a new, like, hey, there's an airdrop uh, for these people. Uh, We're but gonna it, do something rad. But there, there was no. It's always been, not maybe not always, but for like, I think over a year now, uh, it's been stated that that there's going to be uh, rewards through the staking pool for um for landowners, uh, to get gems and catalysts. So the exact delivery of that hasn't um hasn't all been revealed yet. Uh, but that's not changing. So it's not like other landowners or other people are not going to be able to get gems and catalysts. It's just a special airdrop for premium landowners. Is that simply premium landowners that purchase in this land sale, or is it anyone who owns premium land? I was under the impression it's any premium land. Um, okay. Because let me see if I can find where... Uh... Premium I land. I figured it would be any, but I just I didn't want to ask. Mm-hmm. There was a thing that had more info, and I, I closed the tab. <laughs> um, How dare. Was it this one? There was the big FAQ. But it might be on this page also. Uh, 
Yeah, sorry, Illist. The badges are not an on-chain item. They're associated with the account. Um, we we do need to make uh, a way to change wallets on your account. Um, it's it's on the the list of things to do, um, but it is not available right now. Uh, let's see. Maybe this was it. I think that was it. What utilities do land offer? What can I do with land? I don't know where the. You know there what? was a there was a picture we'll that showed the different the different features of of premium and um and regular land but i was under the impression that it was all premium land would be eligible Let's for that airdrop do this um uh, well i'll look into this off the air and we'll talk about it on saturday because sounds that's good. the 26 which is still before the actual land sale itself sounds good yeah all right let's play a game let's do that so lucas spotted that dan three dim or Danny Dim? Danny Dim. Is the three an E? I, I just like saying Danny Dim. <laughs> Dim may be his initials because it's all capitalized and the first name is Dan. So it just might be Dan three and then it's Dim. Whenever I but see I like, I like three Danny and Dim. D, whenever I see three and D next to each other, that's like a, a it's, it's, it's set. It's like it's its own thing. 3D. And mm. everything before and after it can be whatever they are, but 3D mm. is right there. So I see Dan 3D M, or Dan is... 3D I am, because it's a contraction. Maybe. Ooh, I like that. He's 3D. <laughs> That's some future um, stuff right there. So this is for the Star Atlas game jam. It's called Return to Earth. It says designers know I built this in two days, no time. So we're gonna we're gonna see what he was able to do in three day or in uh, two days. Your duty in this system has uh, had been end. Uh, you have an order to return home to Earth. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got like a whoa, what? <laughs> Okay, uh, this is it, it's cool and disorienting. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It says nav to FTL point. What is this? That is a very teeny tiny. These are very small. I don't know what they are. Oh, I see a a glowy thing. Am I actually moving? Oh, I am. Okay, we found the, the FTL point. FTL means faster than light, for those who don't know. That was kind of mm -hmm. cool. You're in FTL mode. All systems look good. You'll arrive home in no time. Happy travel. Oh, we got we got some asteroids to avoid here. Oh, no, I died. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I Dying. thought I was out of the way, but apparently I was I was too close. Oh, the asteroids gonna, got you. We're going to try again. Okay, here we go. We're going to... So this is kind of cool because it's... it's uh, It does have the correct up and down. It's got inverted controls. I'm not entirely sure. I think this is like... I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what the thing around this is. Um, I think it's you're in the cockpit of a ship. Y yes. No, I could tell that part, but I just wasn't sure, like, how this works. Mm. Gotcha. You're talking about the actual gaming mechanics. Well, yeah. Like, I'm looking up right now at the sky. Um, and then I'm just not sure. Is this, like, a piece of equipment that's on us? What happens if I open up our inventory? Mm -hmm. Do that. Oh, there we go. That's that's our ship. So it is a piece of equipment. Or no, it's actually our avatar. So our player character is this whole big thing. 
This is actually really cool, and it's really pretty too. Like, I wonder, I wonder if they like drew that <clears throat> and then voxelized it. I, I wonder what the process there was creating it. Looks really cool. Uh, you're clear of the asteroid storm. Readjust the FTL system. Oh, there we go. So it is. It does obscure a lot of your vision, so it is kind of hard to see. Uh, oh no, there's more asteroids. Error, error, error. System failure. <laughs> Error, 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 error. Oh, no. Hey, Alex, did you die? Not yet. I just, uh, the, I got error, error, enter, HRZ. Or is horizontal victory. Hey, we won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> so for two days, yeah, two days is not a lot of time to work on something. Uh, but this was cool. It was it was a, a unique uh, way of playing that I haven't seen before with this kind of layout. The one diff the 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 thing that makes the controls kind of difficult is um the WASD controls. Y you're looking up as as a character. Like you're to orient the camera, you have to look up. And the WASD controls, there's nothing visually that tells me I'm moving, which is uh, difficult. So uh, what I would suggest to make something like this work a little bit better uh, so that way you, you feel oriented, you can feel the motion besides just turning and spinning Um would be to make an animation in Vox Edit that looks kind of like falling snow. Um, uh, and uh -huh, it would actually uh -huh. be be dust particles or even stars streaking by you. So you'd want some some height to your to your it would be like a cube and it would have some good height to it. And you'd have little softly glowing particles. Maybe you could even make them different sizes, but I would probably just stick with a, with single voxel particles and animate them moving down slowly and then they speed up and down slowly and they speed up and just have them go straight down and then cover your whole map in that because i'm pretty sure the way this is laid out is you're just walking on the surface of the ground mm. um so then cover your whole map in it and turn off collision um and that way no matter where you are on the map you see these particles zooming by it's like when you you know in the middle of name falcon when they they go to to light speed i was and, just thinking um, about that yeah you get that kind of streak effect or like when you're driving in the snow this would give give the effect of that motion because when when you're not when you don't see the uh the asteroids falling there's no sense of motion um and and all you can see is the rotation of the sky when you turn around but as you as you walk left right up and down it doesn't feel like you move at all. So th that's that's a disorienting and it makes it harder to navigate. So I would in add an asset like that to give a more a better sense of motion. And then something like this would be really cool uh in 0 0.8 because we're going to have swimming. Um so you could make something like this work potentially. I mean I haven't had a chance to really play with 0 0.8, but I've seen I've seen people playing with it as like either as swimming or as flying you know, using the mechanic the same mechanic just in a different way um so it would be really cool to see some space games with that digging it asteroids don't fall in space no they don't but they do careen with your spacecraft yeah I, well yeah i think i think falling is not really a real thing Falling is just uh, our our plane of reference for attraction and gravity. You know, there is no down to fall to. I mean, I, I, I fall all the time, so I'm going to disagree. <laughs> but in, <laughs> in an astronomical scale, which way did you fall? Mm, who knows? I mean, I rolled down the stairs, so... You, f you fell towards the center of the earth, but not down. Yeah. Okay. But not down. And so asteroids, asteroids are 
if an asteroid belt, they are falling towards the center of the sun, more or less. They've got an elliptical orbit around the sun. So they are falling towards the sun, but they're also they're also accelerating uh, as they do that, which pushes them, not pushes them, but speeds them up past, like they're falling, but they're missing the sun. That's how my dad used to say it. Is it like the, to orbit, you fall, but your fall keeps on missing the ground. It's just, it's missing it by, you know, millions of miles. It's just, you know, just a it's little falling bit. with style. Um, all right. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, there was a, I, I heard V Pyre. There is a couple more games that I uh, would like to throw out there. One of them okay. is V Pyre's and one of them is Jack, not Jackie Chan's. Uh, we have the V Pyre's game. It's Atari Game Jam Divine Quest on page 51 to 52. And then not Jackie Chan's game is on page 888. 888? That's way back yep. there. He wow. just suggested it. Yeah, apparently he updated it recently. Look at this door. This is beautiful. You're beautiful. What are we talking about? Huh. Uh, the doors. Oh, yeah. Delay. V, she put some... Uh, you already said it. She put some really beautiful assets together. She put some mustard on it. Mm, I like mustard, but only spicy mustard. If it's that sweet mustard, ooh, I will fight you. What if it's sweet and spicy? Nope. Hmm. Not happening. Horseradish or like spicy brown. Or See, horseradish is kind of sweet to me. Oh. I think that I, means like, you've had like cranial trauma. Well, no, it's it is spicy. Like I would say, the primary <laughs> yeah, flavor yeah. is spicy, but it's I consider horseradish mustard to be sweet and spicy. Okay. Well, then I stand corrected. Okay. Your brother is badly injured. Check on him. Now. Yeah. He's probably been playing on the roof again, and I told him to get off of it. Okay. So this is the, our brother's name is. Yo cab, and our name is Mana. Mana, the demon took Mama and Papa. I will not have it take you too. You must leave me here. We have run all night, but I can run no longer. That. I don't think I've heard that noise before. What noise? Or if I have, it's. It sounded different than what I'm used to. I don't remember that sound effect existing. Hmm. Nasal napalm horseradish. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm okay. Um, that doesn't sound appealing at all. I love <laughs> horseradish. Yeah, like I like wasabi and and the the feeling mm-hmm. of it, you know, frying my nasal passages is uh, is exhilarating and sometimes relieving. Um, but. Nasal napalm horseradish just sounds like a bad time. Maybe it's like medicinal, you know, like you're medicinal suffering from napalm. A... No, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, why not? Everything That's... has another purpose if you use it properly. <laughs> because, because napalm catches on fire when it touches water, <laughs> and we are mostly water. Don't, mm, don't eat napalm. <laughs> you're more water than I am. I don't know what that means. Probably. But <laughs> uh. back to V's game? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> get back. Get back in the mood. Mm. Okay. Mm. This is mana. Back to mana. You know I cannot do that. That foul creature will not take the only family I have left. I will tend to your wounds and then we leave together. Even if I could walk, I would be slowing you down. It will kill us both. Find people, shelter, and weapons to defend yourself. Leave now. Remember what I taught you. What I taught V. He's got a typo. Remember what I taught you. I guess he he uh, he's dying. So we'll, mm-hmm. we'll, we're gonna we'll, we'll let him cut him some slack. Yeah, cut some slack. I don't know why this tragedy befell our family. But Mama and Papa did not deserve to be slaughtered by a vile demon. I will not stand by and let you meet the same end. 
The gods must aid us. I will pray to them that they help us send it back to the abyss. Do what you must, sister, but do it swiftly. The demon is close. I can feel it. Okay, I can't pick up the swords and shields. Oh, I gotta pray to the gods first. Mm. I gotta sacrifice a rabbit. What? Hello, bunny. Mm. How you doing? I'm a little. We're just, we're just gonna pick you up. Nervous here. The rabbit wriggles as you hold it down on the cold rock surface. Ooh, this game is rated M for mature. Oh my word! Gods of the Galarian Plains, hear my plea. A demon from the abyss is terrorizing my family. My brother can run no further. Please give me strength to slay this vile beast. Sacrifice the rabbit to the gods. I mean, if I sacrifice ah, the rabbit, there's blood and everything. Eat it. <laughs> it just went squish on the rock. Oh, wow. You are met with deafening silence. Hear me, please do not leave my brother to this fate. Please. Please. Please, Venlath, god of justice. Thalia, goddess of love. Anyone, hear me. Sob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to break sad. down. I'm not going to break down crying. The bunny's doing. <laughs> <laughs> the bunny's doing fine. It's dead. <laughs> it, it does. It's not going to cry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Panda says break down now. <laughs> Ooh, it worked. Warmth and renewed strength flows through your body as a bright white light emits from the sacrificed rabbit. Elathia, goddess of light, hear my plea. Rise, child. The beast that's hunting you is an ancient evil. Show no weakness. How can I ever hope to slay this demon? Behind my parents' back, my brother taught me the way of the sword, but this is no ordinary enemy. Indeed, it is not. Your weapons will be useless, but I feel a strength in you, Mana, and a pure heart. There is only one way to kill evil like this. Obliterate its soul. How does one obliterate the soul of a demon? There are a few ways to do so, but you, my fierce warrior, shall obtain the divine blade a blade capable of purging the souls of its enemies. That is, if you are willing to do what it takes to obtain it. I will do anything, anything at all. I cannot lose you, Cobb. Brace yourself, my child. Before you know it, you are plunged into complete darkness. Nothing but deafening silence surrounds you. Where am I? Black flowing substance with what resembles bright stars faintly lights up what appears to be a cave. What must I do? Your voice echoes into the nothingness. The divine blade will not present itself to anyone. You must please the stars and prove your worth. But I have no time. My brother is badly injured and the demon hunts us. He has no more than half an hour before the vile thing catches up with him. Time is of no importance here. Oddly Worry not specific time frame. I, maybe maybe that's a secret superpower of hers. I like it. It's like she's like um got an internal GPS. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Right now it's saying recalculating. <laughs> <laughs> um, time is of no importance here. Worry not for your brother. He is safe for now. If you wish to save him, find the divine blade and slay the beast. What am I to do here? How will I prove myself worthy of the blade? I only see darkness around me. Alathia offers no reply. You are left to silent darkness. With only the faint light flowing from the stars, you see no way out. There's a boat. Mm -hmm. It's like a little dinghy. Collect all the gems. Can I jump out? Or is it gonna... Is it gonna get mad at me? Mm, I think it's gonna get mad at you. But you should do it anyway. <laughs> Don't let that boat tell you how to live your life. 
The bright crystals shimmer in the dark cavern. Stars shine brightly above. The boat finally comes to a stop before an enormous door of the castle. Whatever it is you must do here, you wager it will be through those doors. Oh, I can walk on all this. Oh, there's a bunch of crystals here. Or gems, I mean. I feel like Pac-Man right now. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. 100%. I mean, you're even running through like a little path. Mm -hmm. A rune floats soundlessly before you. What do you do? I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm going to go inspect those it. doors. Oh, that's not an option, is it? <laughs> too bad. I, no, I don't think it was an option. I'm just exploring. Here? Nope. All right. The door does not bulge. Does not budge. Bulge. What? <laughs> The door has a big bulge. What? I said it does not bulge. Uh, <laughs> it lies flat right now. That is what. <laughs> no bulge. The door <laughs> zero bulge. Yes, it's a very flat door. There must be a way to unlock it. <laughs> we have fun. You gotta find a way into the crystal castle. So I'm guessing that rune up here has something to do with that. Oh, we we're able to open that, but we're not gonna go that way yet. We're gonna try this rune, see what that does. The rune feels cold to the touch, nothing happens. Maybe if I bring something to it, it will freeze. Pisces rune floats in the air before you. Uh, a Pisces rune? Like astrology? Mm hmm. Which is also what was over there, I think. Mm -hmm. I fit. I. I failed successfully <laughs> i'm not sure how i solved that puzzle you did something yeah i i congratulations I, i'm not entirely sure what i did i did I'm something i'm proud of you <laughs> okay maybe that opened the door or unlocked it hey door opens now You have entered mm. the realm of the stars. This is you where had the to children press the bulge. You have entered the realm of the stars. This is where the children of water are born. Like you, Mana. Like me. You were born in the sign of Pisces, were you not? <laughs> the stars favor wit. Make your way through this realm and into the next. Just remember, child, not everything is as it seems. as it seems. That means things is invisible. <laughs> These statues are unnerving. <laughs> Why is that? Because they look like they're following you. Yeah. You know, that would be a that would be a cool mechanic. Um uh to have eyes so like you can have things face towards the avatar. You could have the eyes of a statue like move a little bit to face towards the player. It would be difficult to get it to line up correctly, but I think it could be done. Make it so the eyes of a statue or a painting kind of follow you around the room. 
statue following you, you say. In... You could have you could have the head rotate, but there's no way to limit the motion, so it would turn all the way around to face you. Oh yeah, yeah. Um Oh. Apparently I'm activating these things just by jumping on them. Oh, I died. <laughs> Ow! I fell down this uh -huh. elevator oh. shaft. Um, there is a game. Uh, oh, I don't remember what it's called. It started out as a Skyrim mod, and then okay. became its own standalone game. And uh, you are like an archaeologist traveling. Jurassic Ooh. Park. <laughs> there was no archaeology in the Jurassic period. <laughs> mm. uh, you, you know the difference, right, between an archaeologist and a paleontologist? I, I do. I okay. do. <laughs> so you're an archaeologist who gets, like, sent back in time to like this Roman this hidden Roman city it's actually really cool looking it's like buried in this cave system all this ancient architecture and you like learn all the secrets of this place um I feel like I should be able to jump into this window So we get a question from the pickaxe master while you're playing around with that window. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they asked, does the sandbox have plans for tools to creators or for, for tools for creators to gather data? One, to check on game maker where and why the logic is breaking and two, to get metrics on player behavior on game maker gallery gallery or on the live map? Uh, yes, no, and yes. Yes, no, uh, yes. So, right. so there is, uh, we are working on stuff for um, debugging and oh, look at this. This is cool. You can see like all the icy structures building up from the area we first came in through in the distance. It's just really pretty. Um, so, uh, we, we are working on um, analytics that'll help you see things like uh, CPU and RAM and GPU usage, so that way you can get an idea of performance for your, your games as you develop them, as well as uh, debug functions for like, uh, oh, make this message trigger um, so you don't, have, you don't have to play it as a player to test certain things. You could just make certain things happen. Um, and people have, have, have figured out how to do stuff to put like a, a debug tool of their own in. I'm sure Half Dork's done stuff like that, or like you have like a secret room full of buttons that send out the messages to activate different things in the game. Those logic rooms are cool. Um, and it's fun when you leave them in there and then players can find them. Um, wait, don't you have to leave them in there? You can take it out. You oh. you you have to leave it in there if you want to use it, but if, oh, okay, uh, gotcha. You can take it out before you publish your game, so that way, it's you know not there. But then you'd have to rebuild it. I guess you can make it as a preset. If you made your debug room as a preset, then you could remove it from the game, and hmm. then uh, and then players wouldn't be able to get into that. I really feel like I should be able to jump into here. It's just, it's like bothering me that I can't. It's like just let me. Maybe oh, you can. I did it. Not right now. I did oh, it. Never mind. There's just How'd nothing in there. <laughs> oh. Just That's very carefully. That's why she made it difficult because you know no reason. It's yes. It's not supposed to be. No there. reason yet. Um. So. Uh, so yeah. So there's the the. Uh, there are plans for for that uh, coming. I think in 0 0.8, I'm not sure uh, how much of it will be ready in 0 0.8, but that but that is something that's being worked on. 
Um, then there. Ooh. Well, that's kind of cool. I don't think I'm supposed to go in there, though. Um, uh, what was the second question? I forgot now. <laughs> oh, it was, oh, oh uh... player, player analytics in the gallery. Mm -hmm. Probably not happening in the gallery. Um, it, I suppose it could be possible, but I think that would be more of like a landowner feature. Uh, so it would be player analytics for things happening on land. Um, there's no specifics on that yet, but it has been something that our partners have been asking for. So I think we're going to do stuff with that. Just running all along the rooftops. We have another question from uh, Skyhand110 over on YouTube. Will the sandbox upgrade to having giants as avatars with greater detail and even go beyond voxel modeling altogether? Or are voxels the end-all be-all for the sandbox? Voxels are the end-all be-all for the sandbox. Mm -hmm. um, it was the original sandbox games were pixel art games, and the sandbox is a voxel art game. So uh, there's no plans for using low poly or high poly type modeling. I mean, the voxel models tend to be high poly, but uh, not in the traditional sense of, you know, mm -hmm. like Call of Duty kind of modeling. Um, so yeah, it's the, the, the plan is, has been, has always been for voxels. Um, you can make giants, your player characters, and you can even scale up your whole game. I mean, we've seen, uh, there was like that, uh, uh, somebody made like a kind of honey, I shrunk the kids sort of game, uh, that was the in playground. In, yeah, where you're running around a playground and everything's super big. So you could make a world that's like high detailed like that and make the player character larger to fit inside that space. Difficulty right now is that um, that that change in size does not affect jump and walking speed. So uh, your jump will feel very short and your walk will feel very slow if you scale up everything like that because you're moving at this this the smaller scale speed um so uh yeah you could totally make giant player characters um and uh and, and people have uh but it does it, it doesn't necessarily it makes more sense to like leave the world scale the same and be a giant in that world you know play as godzilla and kind of slowly mosey through knocking over buildings uh yes the giant animations are not all updated yet uh the i think the large human is the one that's currently being worked on um the small human should be almost it's like 95 99 done like uh making all the compatible animations for avatars uh, there were a couple that were missing from the Care Bears launch, which are going to get added later. Um, mm -hmm. There were some specific dances that had only been made in like the past month or so uh, that are missing from the Care Bears. Um, but pretty much everything else is there. So the small human is very close to 100% avatar compatible. Uh, large human is being worked on. Giant needs to be worked on, but is not, uh, not done yet. Um, so... And yes, the, the voxel flavor is the point of the sandbox. Like, uh, if people don't like the voxel flavor in the sandbox, then they're they're looking for a different game. Mm -hmm. There's um, obviously a pretty huge market for voxel art and voxel games. It's a, it's a medium and it's a genre that people really gravitate towards and enjoy. I mean, it's something where everybody can participate where in other universes and realms you're just you're painting with somebody else's brush so to speak like you don't have control over any of this stuff and if you can design it the level of skill that's required to actually utilize the design features is so high level that the, the barrier to entry is just way too much so 
I think people love the accessibility that is like the voxel world. Hmm. I mean, Minecraft hasn't changed its look. I mean, they may have upgraded the graphics a little bit, but it's still the same basic <laughs> look. I mean, most of the blocks and stuff stayed the same. They just, they added the ability for modding in different skins and... Um, but those are still voxel skins. Yeah, but some of them right? are really high high resolution. Ah, um, gotcha. But so so the, the modding in, in Minecraft has enabled a whole bunch of things. You know, there's, there's and, and some of it's not even actually, is not even modding. It's official support for things, but things like uh, RTX mode um, brings a lot of fancy lighting. Uh, people have done high resolution skins for it, uh, but it's still, you know, the big blocky nature. People have done, um, uh, oh, there's a name for this thing and I can't remember what it is. Uh, marching cubes, I think, uh, which is the, um, uh, it kind of like smooths out the blocks into like more organic shapes Ooh, oh no the demon has your scent he knows you're here he is playing tricks on you be strong mana find another way across come and play little mana soon your dear brother will waste away <laughs> you are never going to see him again you will not distract me demon He's doing a good job of distracting me. <laughs> you hear the distant echoing laughter of the demon as if he is in a faraway room, moving away. Finally, you are left in complete silence once again. Hold on, your cab. Is it Jacob? Is it supposed is it supposed to be like Jacob or Jakob? It like in English we would that we would read that as Yocab, but I've never heard that name before. Is somebody else saying not to say Yocab? No, I'm just wondering if I'm because ah. I know I know um V Pyre is is um I almost said Dutch. It's not Dutch, Danish. Um uh so I don't know if like that's if that is if there's a way of pronouncing that name that I'm not doing correctly. I think we should just go with Yocab for now. I'm, I'm really enjoying that. <laughs> it's unique. Never heard it before. Reminds me of Yo Gabba Gabba. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's checking all the boxes. As you get closer to the statue, you notice that its glowing eyes are following you. You try to touch the statue and find that the arm can be moved. You feel a familiar surge of energy through your body before you were torn away from your current location. What? Wait, what? Why did I come back here? Obviously, you enjoy the statues. As you enter the grand room, your eyes are instantly drawn to a large chalice in the center of the room. Wait. What? I... Did I accidentally the game? <laughs> You've shown great wit and perseverance, man. I claim your prize. What must you I do win? here? I don't know. <laughs> Alathia offers no reply. You've gotten used to the questions going unanswered, so you set out to investigate. So I... Was I supposed to go in here yet? I'm not sure I was supposed to be in here yet. I think I, I skipped something. Did the doors shut behind me? Nah. <laughs> Can you knock it out now? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. The, have, there's like a, there's tried, a barrier. Are there any bulges? Anything you can press on? <clears throat> um. <laughs> Hey, Alex, how are you? I'm trying to figure out this puzzle. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Maybe it's like Indiana Jones. 
As your fingers touch the surface, you instantly feel cold. Whispers surround you. You focus on the task at hand and gather the water in your hands and lift it towards your mouth. As your hands leave the surface, warmth returns to your body. As you swallow, the flowing water is all you can feel. All your senses are gone and only the sensation of water flowing from your mouth to your fingertips and toes remain. You feel great power within. Ready for what? You are answered with a familiar tug at your body. You are about to teleport again. Whoa. That was a... a flip. Okay, now we're in a fire world. How big is this game? I have okay. no clue. That's pretty impressive, though. We're, like, this feels huge. It does. Look up if you have the ability once you're done going through dialogue. Yeah, no, it's, it's on the... a... This is at least a two-by-one, I think, based on how much space we've spent in the other section. Yeah. I was going to say, so far I'm getting a two-by-one vibe, but that could be completely wrong if, like, you know, let's say you get teleported to an air world or something. So do the fire gems not count towards my total gem count? Or did I not activate a second quest for that? Oh, I can't get this one. Give me the fire gem. So this is a this is a, this is a question I think you're gonna like answering. Um and I lost it. Give me a second, I'll find <laughs> it again. <laughs> it's got a real interesting question. Mm, mm, I don't know okay. what it is, but it's real interesting. Got it. Found it again, and there's another one after this one. Okay. Why are game experiences limited to land sizes? Since everything is virtual, can't you make it so a 4x4 game experience can run on a 1x1 land or even larger? And I, the reason I say this, you're going to enjoy answering this one is because I feel like the answer that I think you're going to give really lends credence to why land is valuable within the sandbox. Hmm. So, um, wait, what? Taste my wrath, foul waste of the abyss. I don't want to taste your wrath. Who are we, who are we talking to? Uh, I don't know. The goddess is yelling. I think I accidentally triggered something in the corner here. I feel like I'm doing something not quite right. Stranger um, danger, man. Some unknown voice is telling you to taste something. You need to run. <laughs> um, so, land... <clears throat> so, there's a lot of reasons why a land is limited uh, to, to the size that it is. One of the major benefits of owning land is that you get multiplayer server uptime. Uh, so if you if we made it unlimited, then the cost of somebody running a one by one sized game, or not not the cost, but the the price for the the user or for the creator of of servicing a one by one game would be the same price as servicing a skyrim or a red dead redemption or a grand theft auto online um which is is not economically feasible uh to to have that size of a game running on a server if you have only paid for a small plot um so there is this there's an economy of scale there that's going on um there's also just the sense that this is this is like a, a living breathing world or that's that's the goal of it eventually um where you're going to want to be able to uh link up neighborhoods 
Uh, so we don't know exactly what that's going to look like in the future because um, there are some features that are not there yet. Uh, but wait, how do I? What does this do? I'm confused. Do I? Does it make me jump higher? I don't know what that did. I should have read the thing. I was talking, so I didn't actually read what the text said. <laughs> One thing I've learned in these games is that if you do not read, you will get lost. I tried to uh, burn my way through her first game. Dragon Rock. Dragon Rock. Yeah. And there's literally like a quiz in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. I can't jump high enough with these to get up on these pillars so i'm not sure what that's about um wait the other rune disappeared oh there it goes all right well we got into the next room at least oh that's a scary demon guy did i was oh thank you <laughs> okay so um for for land, uh, if you look at spaces like Decentraland and Crypto Voxels, it makes sense that the plots are very limited because, uh, or or that that the unlimited. What? Crypto Voxels is, I believe, unlimited. No, I'm, I don't mean the number of plots. I mean the size oh, of them. Oh, gotcha, um, gotcha. Very limited. Right. It make it makes sense that they're the size that they are because. They've got open borders to the ones next to them, so you can just walk across them. Um, there was a travel mechanic in the sandbox, which is, I don't think, currently enabled, where when you walk to the edge of the land, it would give you the option to travel to the next one over. We might see that return. Um, and there's different thoughts about how we could let neighbors collaborate on on spaces and, and see what goes across the borders there's not it's it's complicated because the sandbox is so custom on each land what each developer like like v's game that we're in right now compared to the last game we were in where you're just riding in a spaceship mm -hmm. what if those were both published to land that are next to each other what does that look like looking across the border it probably wouldn't make any sense um so there's there's some um the 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 highly game oriented and and custom abilities of what you can do with the game maker uh make the open borders a little bit more complicated uh but there's still plans for um estates and districts and governance and things like that which we may see play more of a role uh into how those spaces work but even with the size limitations for a land, people have figured out ways to really maximize that, which you can see in a game like this, where it's not just a you know a flat plane. We're getting teleported around to different spaces, uh, and oftentimes they're stacked vertically. So um, people people find a way to like make the space that they need out of one land. Um, you can also with presets, you can basically make your game unlimited in size. Um, presets let you trade out whole areas. So if you're using the void and multi uh, behaviors to terraform while the game is running, to like destroy areas of blocks and add areas of blocks and then spawn in asset presets, um, the options are pretty much endless for what for what you can do with that space. Um, the limitation is more like if you were to try to do something like that in multiplayer, uh, you know, everybody would be seeing the world change in theory, you know, with with more multiplayer features um, and synchronization. The, the changes to the world would affect everyone. So you couldn't have people concurrently in different spaces. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's um it's it's a very complicated question because there's a lot of different implications about different parts of that answer. I feel like necessity is the mother of invention is a really valid statement here. Yeah. And if people had the ability to just make these sprawling universes, then they would. They would never stretch the imagination to, you know, fill an entire world on a one by one. I mean, the Touche's experience, the Fungi Kingdom, is a perfect example of this. Like, he fits so much into such a small space. It's wonderful. And it, it really shows you like what a one by one is capable of. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if people didn't have to stretch, didn't have to press, they wouldn't. And it also, it adds a level of, you know, it, it adds scarcity to the environment and scarcity breeds, you know, value. Mm -hmm. And I, I think the, there's something about the the size of a one by one plot of land that really harkens back to the original version of Minecraft uh, that didn't have procedural generation off into infinity. It it had it had a limited size, and that there's people who still like playing in that mode um, in Minecraft Classic, which at least that's what they called it before. I don't know if they still call it that or if it even still exists. Um, I guess I get. <laughs> I said people still enjoy playing that, and then I said I don't know if it still exists. Last I knew, people still enjoyed playing that mode. I'm not sure if it still exists, but it did if, at least a few years ago. Um, and uh, uh, what's um? I don't know what Ardcore is doing in the chat there. Yeah, I've I've asked them to stop posting links. Okay. And All right. I'll take care of it. Thanks. Um. So, uh, it, some, I certainly, some people are not going to like that land has a limited size. Um, but I think it gives people like a, a space to work with. There's some technical reasons why, why land is kind of chunked the way it is. Um, but it also is just, it's, it's part of the, the aesthetic and part of the way it's set up. There's, there's just, um, you have to have some, some framework of rules for something like this. And that's just one of the ones that was chosen. Um, and we can't really go and change it now. <laughs> like that would, the, the, the people who have bought into land have bought in with the expectation that this is the way that land is going to work. And they were, mm -hmm. they were happy with the way land was going to work. That's why they were okay with paying the money and, and, and getting land. Um, so uh it, it 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 feels like a cop out to say it but it's just the way it is <laughs> there there are a, there's a whole bunch of reasons why it is that way and uh pros and cons to it being that way but it is that way now and changing trying to change that would detrimentally affect the way the way the ecosystem works so yeah um yeah we're not we're not planning on breaking that there's a lot of people that have been here for a, a while since some of the first land sales. And if you were to change the fundamentals this late in the game on like a value add, like we're discussing, that would kind of destroy confidence in a lot of different sectors. Not Jackie Chan plans on crushing oracles on the battlefield as heroes. I don't know. I think we're going to crush some ice and turn you into a slushy. That's what I that's what the oracles say to heroes. <laughs> I I just want to ride around in a giant mech. So I guess that makes me a scientist. <laughs> All right. Uh what was there was another game that you had suggested that we check out? Yes, uh Not Jackie Chan's game on page 888. Oh, that's right. It's got Wizzy in the title. And wow. we're not going to be able to finish it today, so you don't have an obligation to play it to completion. We're not. Is it like really long? Apparently, he said it was really long. Yeah. Oh, okay. Eight hundred what? 
888. So we could play that today if you want to like just have something to finish the show with, or we could play something else and we could save this for our first game on Saturday. Well, we can launch it and see what we're looking at here. Okay. Also, um, there's a, another question from, uh, once again, from Skyhand110 over on YouTube. Um, they're basically asking which direction the sandbox is going. Uh, is the sandbox's focus to have personal spaces like The Sims, the primary goal, or actual video game experiences being the goal? My answer to that was my impression has always been gaming focused with the social aspect. But what do you think? Um, it's really to do whatever you want with it. Uh, people, people come into the sandbox with different uh, project goals. Yeah. And the sandbox is, I think that's what really sets us apart from crypto voxels and Decentraland is that we're trying to enable all of them. Um, so the, uh, and I've mentioned this before, but the Decentraland is really um, kind of like an event space and crypto voxels is like an art exploration space. And the sandbox is really a sandbox you you can do you can do either one of those things um but we've focused on building game mechanics uh to make the your your time whatever whatever time you're spending should be fun hmm. so whether you're going to a virtual convention uh or some sort of educational space or a social hub to hang out with people or somebody's private gallery hangout pad crib <laughs> um uh or just a game just a game because you know that's the most the, the most simple of those things is just a game um mm. all those things are possible with the mechanics that are being built um and i we expect to see all of them to some degree i've got uh i think 25 land and for most of it, I plan on publishing specific games. Um, however, I'm also an avid collector, and I do plan on having a space that's like a, a gallery. gallery space for the yeah. things that I've collected. Uh, like, you know, it's it's one thing to see it as a big list on OpenSea. It's another thing to explore it as a curated space that's yeah themed to fit around the content that's in it. Um, and I've, I've also been liking the idea of a curated art space. Like yes. I used to, I used to set up galleries when I was in school, uh, cause I worked in the art department. And then I also was a member in a, in a, a local gallery where I helped set up shows there too. So that's kind of like, I've been prepping myself for this <laughs> to, to like, cur <laughs> to not just been be an art collector, but, but to curate and, and have shows for people. Um, so I think like while I got into the sandbox specifically for gaming and voxel art, like I like voxel art, that's what drew me to the sandbox in the first place. And I was like, oh, I can build games with my voxel art. Um, that excited me a lot. Um, and then, uh, and then there's all these aspects of building social hubs and, and making art galleries that I'm like, oh, I would love to do this. Uh, and it's, uh, I would if if I was to make a place that's for me to just kind of hang out as my like kind of like a second life kind of space, it would be a social hub, not just for me. Um. So, uh, uh, because because one land is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's it's a very big space, and if I wanted to just hang out in it, I would I would want a, that to be a smaller section of a greater area that's for people to do other things in too um so yeah those are that's that's what i got to say about that well um, reasoned i liked it thank have you we, have we dropped the giveaway form <laughs> no we haven't we should do that we what totally is should. i forgot about did it did you say it was 888 or was it 888 bottom left corner bottom left corner and it's ah, the okay. humor there you go Busy chess. there you go like game and or fun adventure functional work in progress find the hidden theme 
play time plus or minus a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Now Jackie Chan's going all out. I'm going to speed run it. We're going to be done in 15 minutes. 15 <laughs> minutes max. There's still no search. Who's the search? You're a search. Yay! I don't know what it means, but I like it. Talk to the tower man, ride the bakery, find the glitch. Cherry bear hunt, find a hundred cherry gummy bears. 20 gummies return to the smurf at the bar after collecting. Okay, so there's just like a lot of stuff to do. Hmm. Try talking to everyone, find the theme, and collect 100 cherry bears along the way. Find the theme. Well, it looks like we've got chess as the theme here. But is the, ch is the theme chess, or is the theme strategy game, or? I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a very vague intro. Oh, I yeah. forgot I'm my Care Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a fish that says bloop. A legit smurf. Know what I love about this place? The cherry gummy bears. Think you can find all 100? Sigh. I don't want to have to tell you this, but it could save the world. I don't know. I'll half-ass it. I'm going to blow this pop stand in about five minutes. To be honest, I was looking for the bathroom. <laughs> that millipede cheats. She always knows what I'm going to do. That's a bummer. <laughs> I like that the chess is like a mech battle going on here. Mm -hmm. I had a cool thing where you could carry the spawn point around wherever you want, but it's too easy to get stuck. Maybe later. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I thought somebody in the chat was saying that. I was like, that mechanic isn't live. What are they talking about? <laughs> Never mind. I mean, you, you could you could do that. It's just that people are getting stuck with it. Hmm. Let's get all the gummy bears. Why can't I get that one? There we go. It like kicks me out when I try grabbing it. Gummy bear. This is huge. Like, there's a lot of layers going on here. Mm -hmm. We're getting potato plants. New objective unlocked. Potatoes. Potato. How do you get can 18? You, there's one missing can plant. You boil them. Maybe mash them. Put them in the stew. Maybe stick them in a stew. I don't know. Maybe. There's a key. There's two keys. Wait, Gummy bear. Find the five keys. Well, there's one here, but I can't pick it up. Find all five keys to receive package. Okay. this guy agent x you used to have to do a quest before this elevator would start now it just works from the get-go isn't that nice also i'm looking for one of those ballers who owes me a lot of gummy bears have you seen one who looks suspicious What's agent x looks like the riddler <laughs> i don't like it i'm trying to remember i don't remember who made him mm. was it bruce Um, I don't think it was me. <laughs> it's one of those things like I I helped work on this project, so I remember that stuff being made, but I I don't remember if I actually made it or not. But I think it wasn't me because the nose is flat. Mm -hmm. I don't like doing don't flat, do flat noses. I like gotcha. doing three D noses. The only use of the glitch is to make the imp drop its treasure, so there's no reason to run around 
with the glitch wondering what you should do with it. That sounds like a reason to run around with the glitch, seeing what you can do with it. <laughs> yep. Is this the glitch? No? I don't think that's the glitch. I think that's just like a pretty, pretty stone. If you climb the mountain, this ice block will disappear. So then you can climb the pipeline here to the top, so you won't have to climb the mountain again. Assuming you even want to go back up there. Okay, see you around. The air, the air talks to you? The air talks to you. Nice. Too easy. All the way to the top. If you have the glitch, you can let it go now. What? It's so big. <laughs> I think I think we'll play this on Saturday. Because there's okay. just a lot to do here. I like there's this chair, though. Where do I get this chair? I want this chair. <laughs> Look how cozy it is. Uh, that is a pretty cool chair. Yeah, that is a pretty cool chair. But you, you, like, you're running through this massive world with giant centipedes and air that's talking to you, and you're as a Care Bear, and in that moment, you notice the chair. Well, it's the only thing in this giant glass room in the sky. But it's not the only thing in the world. I this isn't a bad thing. I'm not in it's not an insult or anything. I just I enjoy how much you enjoy furniture. <laughs> but I mean specifically the sandbox furniture. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Are you just murking on these ba -da -ba -da -ba smurfs? Ba -ba -ba -ba. It's a kung fu class. Oh, uh, okay. See, Carolot's actually attacking them, though. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> what? Ooh, you'll see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just went flying. Oh, no, I died. Oh, that was Yeety Smurf. <laughs> Surprisingly. Dude, that's wonderful. I'm having too much I, fun now, but that always cracks me up whenever that happens. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. Whoa! Ah, like when we were playing Vi. Wow, this guy's super day. aggressive. Ah! Wait, what? <laughs> this spider thing. It's like. Oh, oh, yeah. He he did not like you. You got all his speed gems. All right. Like I said, I'm having too much fun, but. Uh, I think we're gonna call it a night. So, okay. did we have a, did we have a winner for our giveaway form? Oh, oh, you know what? <laughs> we don't. <laughs> so you keep playing for a few minutes. I'm gonna close that form out now. We're gonna have that here in a second. It's not my fault. Not Jackie Chan made something that was very visually appealing. <laughs> The form is closed, right? Mm-hmm. Just making sure. Yes. Responses have been turned off. Oh, 
Wait, what? What am I climbing on? <laughs> Is this Hopes whole building climbable? Oh. The whole building's climbable. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -mm. Alex wants to stop. I'm just tired. He's, yeah, Alex is allowed to be tired. He works very hard. I also have a really wacky sleep schedule right now. I got about five hours of sleep in a two-hour section and a three-hour section with like a, a three-hour gap between them. It's not the most restful sleep. Got that winner. Just need to make sure that they haven't won already. Move, fish. Get out the way. Get out of the way, fish. Get out the way. Why is it that whenever anybody says move, that is my first instinct? <laughs> to say Every move, fish? <laughs> no, just get out the way. Because <laughs> it's catchy. <laughs> okay, Ooh, I got that this? winner. There's a whole bunch of tally marks here. Is that like a list of gummy bears that I found? Reveal the secret message. Of course, I love secrets. Ooh. Oh, that was cool. That was a cool little transition. Uh, let me see if I remember how to read this. Um, it's R A C A. Wait, no, that's not. Is that it? Uh, I don't have I don't I don't have the thing in front of me. Uh, I I need translation help. <laughs> hmm. First letter is an M. What? Oh, that's right. Because because it's it's only a two by three grid, so it's it. Uh, yeah, I mean I've got I've got the thing here. I can figure it out. I'll figure it out. Um, so we've got that winner. Who's our winner? Congratulations goes out to Moosin1994 over on Twitch. You have won Wizzy's Purple Hat. Congrats. Congrats. I may have butchered your name, and if I did, <laughs> I do not apologize. <laughs> um. Uh, oh, that's uh, uh I just pulled up their uh profile. They've been a regular Twitch. Yeah, they've been here for, for a long while. Time. Yeah. I, I didn't rec I didn't recognize it based on the way you said their name. I thought it I thought you were saying Moose in like M O O S I N. M U A S I N. <laughs> yes. Nineteen ninety four. Uh, yeah. So um, I had the image saved with the translation for these things, but I don't know where it is now. Who's got it? I'm sure not Jackie Chan does. Probably. So who wins if I sent the Wizzy onto my fiance on this one? Well, we we'll, we'll, we send it to whoever whatever the winning address is. Hmm. So the when you put your wallet address on the form, that's the one that you would want the Wizzy delivered to. So it doesn't have to be yours. It could you could 
go on behalf of somebody else. But if that address has previously won a WYSI, it's not going to get another one. So the question they're asking me is of the like, same kind. Like if I, I mean. won but sent it to my fiance, who will win, me or my fiance? And my answer to that is both. Yeah. Uh, macaroni with the chicken strips. What? That's what I said. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> It's kind of like um, okay. So now that I know that that's what it says, it's easier to read it because like the the shapes of the letters is very close to English letters. It's just uh, you know ones like the W like are more and the M. It's a meme apparently. I don't I don't do memes anymore. <laughs> like no no more new memes. memes. I'm I'm or I'm calendars. all. I am all memed out. I know so many memes. <laughs> and I don't think I have any, like, human experience left mm. that is not already addressed by, an, uh, by a meme that I've known from the past 10 years. Or even more than that. Past 15 all years. Out. He doesn't want any more memes. Yeah, no there's, more enough, memes. there's enough memes. Like... Mm. Any new memes that people come up with are just going to be a rehash of old memes at this point. Especially after the past few years. The past, like, five years, memes have, like, accelerated. Like, they're only... They expire after about a, a day now. Mm. And it's like... And, and the meme... Cringy as they may be, <laughs> the memes that I know from when I was in high school stuck around for like five ten years before mm. before they got worn out and some of them are still good like the, this is fine dog he's been around forever oh yeah i like, i he, use he that one almost universe. every day oh wow yeah that's if that if that gives you a sensation of like what the human experience is for me um, <laughs> <laughs> uh it's it's an emote on on uh on discord and slack for me mm. i just use it all the time <laughs> there's there's two emotes that i associate with you one is the clinking glasses and yeah. two is the cat one is bobbing the, the his head, head yep bopping head bopping mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i ever if i ever see those I know that the clinking glasses one is a little more universally used, but if I ever see that cat one, I'll I'm like automatically know you're in the chat. And if somebody else is using it, I just kind of look at them like, how dare you? Who do you think I, you are? I didn't originate that emote. I, just... I didn't say you did. I'm yeah. saying you took it through Rite of Conquest. I just, I just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Talk to Bonnie. How are you today? I feel good. Wow, so many just skeletons strewn about this land. You, you, you gotta, you gotta think something really bad happened at some point. I mean, oh, there's words in that. You've got, bath. you've got a skeleton in in the room you're in right now. I absolutely do. I also have one inside of me. <laughs> See what I did there. I did, I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> there was a human experience. How do I sign up? Uh, you have to be born a human. Mm. Um, but you, you can't sign up. It's just mm -hmm. the act of existing while being a human. And either you are or you aren't. Mm. <clears throat> It's like a 2018 meme. Mm. Macaroni and cheese and trick chicken strips. Is that what it was? There's macaroni. also a frozen Lucas since the macaroni description. Oh, I, yeah, I've been there for a while, but it's cool. We're logging out this, soon anyway. Just this, is, this is what I mean. I didn't navigate away from... Oh, no, I did. I, well, not after the decryption, but when I was trying to, I was trying to, 
I have the image with that alphabet saved to my computer. I was trying to find the image file. Uh, I don't what folder I put it in. All right. So I think we're done for today. I think so. So d don't forget to sign up for the land sale raffle. Uh, I, I believe I believe you need to have enough sand to buy a land in you your wallet in order to apply. Mm -hmm. uh, and it and it needs to be on Polygon because the mm -hmm. land sale is on Polygon. So you need to have 1,011 sand minimum in your Polygon wallet that is connected to the sandbox. In and it cannot be raffle. in staking. It has to be in your wallet actively. Yes, correct. It has to be unstaked. Mm -hmm. And All right. if, if you want to do two, you can apply for the premium land raffle and the regular land raffle. The premium land raffle will be announced before the regular one. So if you if you win the premium raffle, you will not you'll get taken out of the regular raffle. Just mm. so. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. I will see you all Saturday. Have a great Thanksgiving. Good night, everyone. For those of us in the U.S. See you later.